And we are back. Welcome, welcome. Today is, this is going to be our final video lesson uh, having to do with the parts of speech. We did simple parts of speech. Uh, we've gone over nouns together. We've gone over pronouns, verbs, adjectives. And the last part of speech that we're going to go over in this like little mini unit is one of my personal favorites, adverbs. Why is it my per one of my personal favorites? Well, because when I was in school, I could never remember what an adverb was, but now I do. So I'm going to try and help you to avoid all of the heartache, all of the headaches that I have when we talk about adverbs. Now, in our previous session, we talked about adjectives and we said that adjectives are words and the way that they're used in a sense, sentence is they modify or they describe or they give some kind of meaning to nouns. So if an adjective modifies a noun, what do you think an adverb is going to do? Hmm. That bubble comes up. If you said to yourself, Mr. Hubner, well, I see the word verb in there. Maybe they have to do something with modifying verbs. And an adjective modified a noun, so an adverb should modify or describe a verb. If that's what you thought, then I want you to take your hand, pat yourself on the back. Yes, dad jokes aplenty. An adverb describes or modifies a verb. They can also modify an adjective or another adverb. What? I thought these only modified adverbs. No, Ad adverbs can do a lot of things, which is sometimes why it's hard to pick them out. But there are some clues. Adverbs, this isn't, again, this isn't a complete list, but at least this gives us something to start with. Adverbs can tell how, where, when, how much, how often. So they tell like how something is done. They give a location, a time, quantity, or if there's like a repetition of things. So adverbs can modify a verb, an adjective, or even another adverb. Adjectives, they modify nouns, but an adverb can modify a verb or an adjective or another adverb. So they are a triple threat. And we're gonna look for some of the clues. So I said they can tell us how, where, when, how much, how often. So like how many, things like that. Let's look at a sentence, how. The students whispered quietly. Well, I'm gonna break this sentence down. I'm gonna look for the simple subject and the simple predicate. So in my sub sentence, I have a simple subject of students. What are the students doing, saying, or being? Well, the students whispered. So the other two words that I'm left with, the and quietly. Well, the is a special kind of adjective uh, that tells which students or which kind of, which students? The, the students. What about this word quietly? What's that describing? Well, that's describing how they whispered. The students whispered. Well, how did they whisper? They whispered quietly. They can tell you where. And I like that it uses because we have two homophones here, W-H-E-R-E, -E, which tells direction, and W-E-A-R is a verb. It's something that you do. I wear a hat everywhere. <laughs> that can get kind of confusing. So I wear a hat everywhere. Well, in this sentence, my adverb is everywhere because that's telling a location, or in this case, a bunch of locations. And what am I doing in that location? What am I doing in the location of everywhere? Well, 
I am wearing a hat. So my simple predicate is that I wear or wear. And what location am I doing the wearing? Everywhere. Or I wear a hat outside. Or I wear a hat sometimes. What about when? The train is leaving soon. Well, the train, what's the train doing? The train is leaving. When is it doing that? Soon. We don't know like the exact time. It might be in 20 minutes or in 35 minutes or next week. But the adverb in this sentence tells us when that's happening. When's the train leaving? Soon. I completely forgot my lunch. What is the action that's being done here? The person that's doing it, the simple subject is I forgot. Well, how much did you forget? Or to what amount did you forget? I completely forgot my lunch. And for some reason, my little, uh, my little lines got mixed up. And the last one, how often? Corinne rarely eats junk food. How often or when does she eat junk food? Rarely. And I want to look at three of these adverbs. I want to look at quietly. Oops. Yeah, because that thing got. So let's get my, yeah. Got quietly, completely, and rarely, what do these three have in common? Well, all three of them end in the suffix ly. Now, not every word that ends in ly is going to be an adverb, but if it's something that's ending with ly as a suffix, so like, Complete, I add on ly to make it completely. Rare, I add on the ly to make it rarely. Quiet, I add on the ly to make it quietly. Or soft, you add an ly to, uh, to make it softly. And one of my favorite lines from hip, hip hop is softly, as if I play piano in the dark, found a way to channel my anger, not to embark softly as if I play piano in the dark. It describes how Andre Benjamin, AKA Andre 3000, AKA one half of one of the greatest hip hop duos of all time, Outkast, how he's playing piano, he's playing it softly. And that little extra part, that was for free. So adject adverbs can tell how, they tell where, when, how much, how often? This isn't a complete list, but at least gives you an idea that when they're modifying or pointing back to a verb, they're kind of adding a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra definition to where does somebody wear the hat? Everywhere. How often does Corinne eat junk food? Rarely, which tells me that Corinne is probably pretty healthy. So moving on, that's actually the last of my slide. I completely forgot. How much did I forget? Completely. So remember our clues for finding adverbs. I go back to this previous slide. An adverb describes or modifies a verb, but can also modify an adjective or another adverb. They tell, they can tell how much, how, where, when, how often, and a lot of the times the clue to look for is that a good portion of the time they're going to end in ly. So if you see a word in a sentence that ends in ly, take a look. Is it something, is it something like sly that just naturally ends in ly or is it something that modifies or can tell how much like softly 
I play piano in the dark. How do I play piano? How do I play? Softly. So keep an eye out for LY. Keep an eye out for words that are describing how, where, when, how much, or how often. And if you do, there's a very, very, very good chance that you are dealing with an adverb.